right, some more Sean Lane. So this is from the uh, video Sean plays a white strat. I'm going to try to put the video in this video, just a clip of it, so you can see the lick. So the basic idea, there's two things happening here, uh, techniques I've shown before, uh, a hook and skip. That's the hook, and that's the skip. So we put them together. That's about as good as it's going to get. But this line appears in a lot of his solos, and or you can just use it. You know, it's like if you're up up in E minor, E minor pent, and you go down to Dorian D, you know, D major over E. it right there. Same lick. So let's see how he plays it, uh, or how I play it, and then how he plays it, because it's slightly different. So um, we're in E Mixolydian, so A major scale over E. So the hook, the hook, skip, yeah, the hook. He uses this a lot. Quite a bit. So we're picking A, hammering the B, and then we're going to the G sharp on the second string with a hammer from nowhere, and then a pull off to F sharp on the seventh fret second string. Okay, and then the next part, what I'm calling the skip, is we're starting on the G sharp and sweet picking to the B, so 9-7, G-sharp, B. Now if you do that, you kind of have to, um, after you play the G-sharp, you have to like let it die out, because you don't want them to ring together. So you kind of just let it die. There's a little bit of muting involved. Then you go back to the G-sharp with a hammer from nowhere and a pull off to F sharp. So it's just this. Sweep. And the two together. That's it. And the, um, you know, this I've shown before, but this is a very common Sean lick. 
two parts. A, pick the A, hammer F sharp, seventh fret, hammer E, ninth fret. Hammers from nowhere. And pick the F sharp, hammer the E on the ninth fret, third string, pull off to D, seventh fret, third string. I'm picking up and then down on the F sharp. And then you just move it to the next group of strings. And the next group, which is six, seven, nine, six, seven, nine, because we're following the A scale, it'll be in tab. And then the final group, and then you can move it down two frets to follow the A. And if you want to keep going, we be down here. But we'd have to change the fingering to stay in. You know, A major or E mixolydian. So again, I'm using that. Um, so I'm using it in all those places. Uh, if you're up here in E. Um, Dorian, which is the D major scale over the E, you know, playing E pen. Now we can do it, do it here on the D scale. Down in A, when he's doing it down here in A, he's in E Mixolydian. Later in the video, he moves it down to the G scale, still thinking in E, so it becomes E minor. So he's kind of tonality wise, he's jumping through natural minor. Mixolydian and uh, Dorian. And a lot of real fast. A lot of fast pent. Um, now the other the one the final thing I wanted to show is if you watch the video, you'll see he's not he's not doing a sweep pick like I am. He's using this. So he's um, assigning his second finger to the first string. So when you pick that A, you finger picking. Then it's a hammer to B, hammer to G sharp, pull that out. So that's finger picked. Then when he plays the next part of it, the G sharp, he picks it and then finger picks with the second finger, the B. And then it's a back to G sharp hammer from nowhere. So that second part's again pick the G sharp, finger pick with second finger, the B. Hammer from nowhere back to the C, G sharp, pull off the F sharp. See my second finger, so I get. Um, sorry. Yeah, so if you watch the video and you see his second finger moving really fast, you know that's because he's doing it that way, which I I can't even imagine how he's accomplishing that. 
the sweet pick makes it a little bit easier, I think. Still impossible to play it at his speed, but you know what I mean? He's adding some uh, slides and some chromatics and double note. You know, I didn't get the whole lick, but I just wanted the gist of, of what the heck this was. That right there. So that's the basic idea with that. And uh, yeah, but it, you know, you can do it, the more you practice it, it's not just for, for doing it this one time. It, it, as you play through different scales, like say we're in A Dorian. So it, you, you can find places, especially where there's a triad. You know, throw it in, and it doesn't have to be super fast. Either. let me know but uh the way also the way I practice it you know is just to do it slow just slow and uh, you know methodical and slowly try to speed it up or sometimes if I'm going fast just to try to get one Two, to try to get the you know your nervous system just used to playing it that way but the great licks and uh, at any rate it's fun to study Sean's playing because he's so good like incredibly good and uh, all right cool catch you next time